The top story this evening, newly elected Cape Town Mayor Dan Plato says that he'll recruit more Metro police officers. He will also address issues around public transport in his new role. Well, he delivered his inaugural speech in council today after being elected by a majority of 146 votes. The ANC's Kolani Sotashe says that the ACDP's Grant Haskin garnered 53 and 3 votes respectively. Coming full circle, Cape Town's hot seat is not new to Dan Plato. He took over the reins from Helen Zilla in 2009 until 2011. Today, he replaces Patricia Delo, who left the mayoral position last week following a protracted battle with the DA. My first order of business will be to carry out a listening tour. I want to hear firsthand from the people of the city what their priorities are and what their problems are. I am very much aware of the challenges facing our communities, but I want to give the people of the city a chance to engage with me. All's not been rosy in the DA caucus. Eight councillors resigned from council and the DA last week in support of Delo. Plato says relations are on the mend. Opposition parties had this message for the DA and the new mayor. If it is easy for the DA to purge a leader who gave them a two-third majority vote in the city of Cape Town, what does it say about the DA's ease with, the, with which its ordinary members? Today the DA is giving us Dan Plato, a member who has never won any election, always governed without a mandate, with the worst record in his previous portfolio committee. You claim to be here to deliver a quality service. We want to say to you, Mayor, you have left the city of Cape Town with the people of Kailicha when you were a mayor, still under Porta Port. And you are still finding them still under the Porta Port. The port, the port. With the right mayor next to you here in the council. Plato says he will appoint a new mayoral committee in the next few days. The process to replace councillors who resigned is also underway. Nomao Tusolwandle, SABC News, Cape Town.